the morning after the night train. We've really just got on the 100 bus um, from the train station because we were in Gwilly North the train station. It's a bit far away from the city centre. But to know where to get off? Basically, our hostel, which is awesome, have sent us like some instructions. Yeah. But they've given us the crossing names. In like. In Chinese. In Chinese, so I have to match the symbol or. With whatever's it on, on the, the bus. bus. There's no English on the bus, so basically we just had to match what we were given on the email to this. It sounds so good. This wasn't on the bus. We found it. Very, very proud. How do you feel? <laughs> Let's go and wait around for eight hours because we can't check in till two. <laughs> so we've booked into a place called Sky Palace Hostel uh, because it's got a really nice view from uh, the roof and it's a little bit hazy. But you can just see what makes Grilling famous. It is. It is from the very top part of the roof. You see the castle in the distance. So we checked into our hostel and we've just come out for breakfast. I have no idea what I've just ordered, but I know that this just cost me 50p. Pretty good. Chris is just waiting for his. Oh, I think he's got it. Chris has cost a pound, but we've no idea what they are. We just pointed to a picture. Looks really good. Does it look good? Yeah. Oh wow, that does look good. I've just put like... For a pair can, that looks great. You can pick how many kind of like, uh, how much chilli bar and I think is some sort of pickles. What's the meat, do you think? Uh, Try it. Is it awful? No. What is it? I mean, it's like... Yeah. So we've come for a walk up uh, Yao Mountain. Yao? Yao Mountain. And it should give us a great view. There is a cable car just over there. That's the office where you buy your tickets, but it's a bit expensive. It's like a hundred and is it 110? 110 to the cable car up in Durham, or 170 to the cable car up in the slide Durham. Yeah, but if you come to the left hand side, there's this lady, she's got a little shop selling water and a few ice creams which we've just bought off her. She's told us that there's a little path up here. And I'm using a map, called, well, an app on my iPad called Maps and Me. And basically, if you download the map of the area while you've got internet, you can use it offline, so you don't need Wi-Fi connection, you don't need a SIM card or anything like that. But this is the highest peak. Yeah, and say. you can use it. But look at that view already. And you can see the view over there, oh. and the cast. <laughs> so that is the cable car. Basically, this path is following the cable car up to the top. Either the cable car or the toboggan slide, which is how most people get back down. But it was hard. To get up and down, it was like about 20 odd pounds, wasn't it? Yeah. Each? Yeah. We're not doing that. We're going to walk it. It's about an hour, but we asked her, uh, we met this lovely Chinese kid who wanted to practice his English with us, and he says when he walks, he takes him three. So. That's not going to take us three. I reckon an hour. <sighs> Easy. But Robin just said it looks like something out of a movie and I think I agree with that. I mean look at that one, it's just in the middle of the middle of all the buildings. Yeah. This is why we came to Grid in to see these kinds of things. <laughs> and you get some really funky music. <laughs> On your walk, what else could you need? It's 
like Blackpool Pier. It is. Da -da -da -da. We're a bit close to them now. We've just seen some grapevines. Isn't they growing? I didn't know you could grow grapes in China, but obviously you can. Do you reckon they make Chinese wine? Maybe. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful there. Uh, Grilling's great, Scenery around Grilling, absolutely gorgeous, yeah. I want to go into the On the bus back to the hostel, should take us about 20, 25 minutes to get back. And it only costs uh, two, is it Chinese yen? RMB. RMB. So that's like 25p. Good for food. Let's see what's going on. Today's late lunch. We both had the same type of noodles. What are they called? The, the thin flat ones. Um, I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's something. But it's got vegetables in it and some meat in it as well. Yeah, we've got some. He asked us how much spicy we wanted it. We said a little bit. I think we got that right. I think we could have had a bit more. We probably could, yeah. That's a huge pot. I know. Like 10, which is just over a pound, one pound. The beef satay has got something sprinkled on it. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It looks really good. Try one, Chris. It might be a bit hot for me. Spicy hot or temperature? Well, we don't know yet. <laughs> Really good. Mm. Good chewy. Mm. So there's noodles, roasted nuts, sliced pork, bits of offal, onion. I put a bit of uh, yeah, well chilies in. On, you? Yeah, you decide what toppings you want. So I put some chili in. Some spring onions, some some other things I don't really know what they are. <laughs> uh, but and you get a little kind of dump. What, is, what is this called? It's like a soup, but what's what's that white thing? Well, there's some sort of dumb thing. What they're made Something from? Something steamed, and then they Please. just plunk it in. I don't know. I'll try one. Yeah. Looks quite spicy, hot though. <laughs> Nice. It's a bit like a, like a bread dumpling inside some like pork. Oh. Like a little bit of much pork. Mm. And so for the set, it's 12 yen? Yeah. It's roughly what, one pound fifty. Yeah. Good breakfast. Now I like bread and I even like the steamed bread. But I'm not sure. I like soggy steamed bread. <laughs> I'll give it a try. I like it. I like the soggy bread roll. It's kind of like, you know, when you have a bowl of soup and you have a, a bread, like a cob with it, and you, you dunk your bread yeah. in your yeah. soup. That's what it's like, isn't it? But it's just already in there. But that's what's in the middle a little pork. And the clear soup's really tasty, isn't it? Yeah, the soup's lovely. Very tasty. Yeah. So the plan was to go to Dashu and see the old town. So we've come down to the bus station and we cannot fathom a thing. We've been to the bus ticket counter. They sent us down the road. We went down the road. There was absolutely nothing there. We've come back into the tourist information center. He wrote me out a little slip and pointed me in a certain direction. But what do you do with this? I don't know. I tried to match the symbols up to other places, but just cannot figure it. But if this is not a bus station, there's ticket machines, counters, I don't know what is. And we cannot, we cannot get to Dashu today. I just, we just cannot figure it out, can we? No. I'm going to go and ask him this tourist information. Chris is not giving up. These are the Sun and Moon Pagodas in Gwilin.
it's like the old part it of William. City Wall or something. Yeah. I think this is like the replica bit, isn't it? Yeah. And then this is kind of like the main high street down here. We had uh, lunch down there yesterday. Is that what, down here, do you think? Yeah, let's have a wonder there. Chris looks like a giant compared to everybody else. He's getting a few stairs. So Chris has just been and paid and for both of our trays of food, a large beer and a little beer, 28. 28. Which is about £4.50. No, which is really good, isn't it? For beers as well. Amazing, yeah. The food's really nice. I've just eaten some chicken and some pork. They, they use everything, every piece of meat, so you have to pick the bones out, but still tastes fantastic.